Hello everybody, this is Red Band, also known as Tommy from Tommy's Puppet Lab. And I want to give you a tour of this guild that I had built on my Minecraft server. It's my survival multiplayer server here. And you and it is actually a public server, so if you want to join, please sure be sure to check it out. Um, so this is the uh, guild based off of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I've had this for years. Right, probably close to 20 years I've had this design. And this is, you may actually notice for uh, Charity Guild. But this is the uh, guild here. And there are pirate flags on here because my character and I play on here is a pirate now. So Charmander is now living the life of a pirate. So here are the signs up in front. And there is Snowball. The tuxedo cat, but yeah, here she is. <coughs> so, yeah, so now we have, and then of course, I got Bella and Chico. Bella and Chico, they must be asleep right now. <laughs> They're looking the other way. And okay, so here's Kangaskhan. I call her Big Mama, because <laughs> she is a big, big girl. And yeah, so she used to run a, a, a treasure town uh, storage. She's known for the storage lady in Treasure Town, but the Ender Chest works very much the same way. So yeah, then I have her as head of security here. You don't want to get on her bad side. And this is an Infernape. This is Simon, and he's also part security, and he wrestles. He's a wrestler. And then this is this is actually Lucario. Yes, actually, I need you to... Yeah, so he's a contractor, and I'm going to have him sell claim blocks. So there are claims on this channel where you can claim land. So that's what I have them. And I've had these I've had these characters for, oh, for a long time. I mean, they're obviously Pokemon. I don't officially own them, but I have these characters with their own personalities that I gave them. All right, so we're gonna go downwards. So I guess we can just climb upwards here and just kind of have a out view there. So there's a good view of Fogbound Lake, which I also built. That Salabog there. <laughs> yeah. So, so we gotta we gotta snake attack the beach. But anyway, there we go. So now we're going down. Here's where it really gets to be good. All right. So we're gonna start off with the member bedroom. This is Yamper. They're just cute. Now you talk to Yamper, it just makes cute dog faces. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, and then I really like the ceiling. I've got moss and kind of have the granite and polished stone or smooth stone there. It's a nice cozy lounge for all the members. There's this Gatomon. Tailmon is what the Japanese name is. It's, they call her. Being a pirate means being a free spirit. To be a free spirit, you must be healthy spiritually. And there's a lot of truth to that. So basically, she's a priestess. That's what she is. So she, she works uh, with spirits. So that's what she does. And yes, <laughs> she is a cat. Okay. Now we have... So this is the member bedroom that lots of bunks, bunk beds, not nothing too fancy, but you know they gotta have a place to sleep. And every bedroom is like that, but I'll just show you everyone. This is oh yeah, this is supposed to be the Nobila wing. This is Antiqua wing. These are actually the uh, rooms are named after places in Secret of Evermore. That's what I named these rooms after Prehistoria wing. Prehistoria for you to start off and there are two secret of evermore builds on here Salabog is one of them and we have Thrax who happens to be the portal and there's another one there okay <clears throat> and yeah most of these characters are I have as puppets this is Tommy's puppet lab after all that's the guild master's room and this is actually the Jolly Roger Charmander's Jolly Roger. Crossbones with a red band. There you go. Look at that. Fancy room. And he shares. Yeah, so there are two beds, you notice. 
One is red, one is blue. The other one, see, let's take a look at that. Crying obsidian. Nice purple ceiling, so I just kind of gave it a nice mystifying purple. Reason for that, I chose purple, because red and blue, you get purple. Red being Charmander, and blue being, I'm going to show you. And I have, the, this was actually gifted to me, that Elytra. Do I take good care of it? There it is. Ask the one who sleeps in the blue bed. My partner in crime. <laughs> yeah, he's complaining about not having a blue feather. But he always has a blue feather. Did you know there's an arcade nest? I love the dance game myself. I, yeah, so he's actually, uh, he loves to dance, actually, would you believe? I'd love to make him dance as a puppet, but I can't. So, and he is, yes, a, a prince. So there is lore on from all my puppets. They give some lore related to my channel. Related to my channel. There is a bit of lore if you talk to the NPCs. There you go. He tells you about his name. Um, yeah, so this is all random, but I'm trying to get him to say something specific. There you go. He's been with me since 2008. College. So he's basically Charmander's first mate and right hand. Okay. So now you've seen those. This is Timmy the Ivysaur. He is a gentleman. Or a gentleman, but I call him gentleman. He's very polite and very considerate. Oh yeah, he's talking about Mr. Taurus, Azuli. He's very... I do plan to add him to this uh, server, but... I gotta build his special place yet. The thinker is no match for the thinker who does. If that makes any sense to you, I mean, just do it instead of thinking about it. There you go. That's what I wanted. I'm an artist, so he is an artist. He paints. <clears throat> Alright. Then we have the research and archives. You might recognize this duo, Lily and Porygon. And if you talk to them, trick or treat too early. He said that in one of my videos. Fred Bear has two heads and one brain. So he gives, he talks about uh, the Fred Bear files. If you've seen Fred Bear's um, Nightmare Escape Room, you'll notice those two were in it. They were on a mission. So they can give a little bit of lore and we you should talk to them. So I'm going to show you the ceiling here. Oh, there's the desk. So yeah, just try to make it look very researchy. I have some archives on. Here's Lily. She's, no, she's known me since my, my tragic year, which is true. I lost my brother when I was 16, and I, I, I played a lot of Pokemon Ruby that helped me get me through those really, diff really, really, really challenging times, and Mawa was always in every single party, every single game I had. I just could not play it without her, and then, therefore, she pretty much became my favorite. So, yeah, that's how she officially got into my life. Okay. And she does give a little Fredbear stuff. And she is an archaeologist, but she is also a special agent. Okay, well that's the research and archive. She says more things, but I don't want to spoil it all for you. In case you plan to visit. Alright, here's the greenhouse. I actually quite like this one. And you'll recognize this one. This is Butterfree. And Butterfree, have you seen Alice Angel's escape room? Butterfree was actually making nectar and sweetened the lemonade. Well, this is actually really what he does. He is a honey farmer. He loves, he's mentioned it a few times that he wants to sell nectars and stuff. And so this is, this is really Butterfree. Butterfree is a honey farmer. And, you know, he'd be very good at that. There are bees in here, but I guess they're all in their uh, hives right now. So I'll have to get some campfires under there. And smoke the bees and grab the honey. And that is an actual procedure when you are harvesting honey from bees. You actually do need to puff some... Oh, there they are. There's a bee. 
You have to puff some smoke to mask their pheromones. Oh yeah, so there's five. Yeah, there we go. Now they're busy. I love bees. I've always wanted to be a honeybee farmer ever since I was a little, little, little boy. And I still do. I would still love to do that. Okay. Now, we have the meeting room. And Wigglytuff appears to be asleep with his eyes open. You have not changed their Wiggly. There you go. He's got a perfect apple on his head. That was intentional. <laughs> Perfect apples are yummy! Yumta! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yumta. Friendship power makes you stronger. And of course, he always... Come on, say it. Hugs, not thugs. Um, smiles go for miles. That's the one I was looking for. And then there's Chatot. His official partner in crime. Don't you have work to do? We're busy! Stop the waddling! <laughs> yeah, he kind of that irritable kind. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this. So this is the meeting room. These are supposed to represent drink glasses, by the way. Have some nice little storage here. So it's a nice. So I'm actually really happy with that. I love how I did the lights in the corners. Anyway, so this is where the meetings would be held in this guild. Alright, and then there's the craft and workshop. This is actually a shiny Nidoking. King. He's got a scar in his right eye. And there's a little bit of a story behind him. I be a blacksmith. And yes, he is the blacksmith. And he, he makes weapons. He's always had. I even have picture. I even commissioned artists to draw him doing that. Protect body with armor. Chest plates protect more. It cover your heart. Your weapon good? Good weapon is reliable. Yeah, so that's just how he talks. Yeah, so I actually really like how this turned out. So that's the crafting room. That black stone ceiling there. Chain. Got everything you need to make something. Even the looms. Yeah, so there you go. That's the craft room. Here's Caterpie, the latest addition to the, and yes, I know they're very big, but I'm actually, I mean, that's just how NPCs are, and actually, I don't mind this at all. I'm quite happy with them being, and yes, he, Butterfree is his father, and he wants to be a honey harvester. Dad says I eat too much. I'm a caterpie though. You should see Wigglytuff eat. Oh gosh, Wigglytuff. You should. <laughs> Wigglytuff sure has a problem with when it comes to food, especially especially if you have perfect apples. And this is the dining room or the mess hall, as I like to, as it is actually called. Fancy dining, very good. We have a great chef on board, and you're going to meet him in just a second. I'm just going to show you. So my first guild had a waterfall, so I added this one. It just just gives it great great uh, atmosphere. I just need to get some music in there, and there's got quartz ceiling there. So yeah, I think this would be kind of a place I wouldn't mind dining in myself. So it actually has a total of 20 chairs. Two tables, 20 chairs. Alright, let's go meet the chef. The chef is Agumon. At Digimon, yep, he is the chef. And there we go, he's complaining about Wigglytuff. <laughs> he sneaks in at night. Yeah, like I said, he eats a lot. So Bonnie's not the only one who has a ferocious appetite. Oh gee, how did you know I like grilled cheese, Agumon? <laughs> Am I that predictable? Nutrition is essential for success and peak performance. I love s'mores. Toast the crackers first and then add the toasted marshmallows with chocolate in that order. It's more work, but you'll not be sorry. So yeah, he's a... Uh, you can have good food or great food. I only settle for quality. If good is good enough, then better is possible. 
Okay, so that's the chef. I actually want to add smokers because smokers c cook food faster, but that, that's all they will do. Furnace is kind of like does it, does it all. You can smelt and then cook food, but I'm going to have smokers because he's only supposed to be cooking food, not smelting iron or whatever. Okay, and that's that there. And that is the refrigerator, all ice. There's cake in there. <laughs> so, yeah. You notice that this is heavy iron. <laughs> this was on purpose. Because he's trying to keep Wigglytuff out. Alright, so that is the tour of the first floor. You've met the guild crew. And we're just going to leave right out here. And yeah, now, we, now there's the sentry post right up here. Now in the game, how it works is somebody steps on the grate and then they would have to identify their footprint. And if the footprint looks suspicious, they won't let them in. And this is who I have on sentry duty, Charizard. And he also makes jewelry. And yeah, Trixie, I gotta add Trixie as well. And he's a gold prospector, so... I can smell you before you step on the crate. He says something really funny here. Come on. Say, yeah, I wish they could say things in order. I'm working sentry duty. I look at your footprint, and if it appears suspicious, the crate becomes a grill, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> He is a he is a fire breathing dragon. So, I mean he's a he's a fire flying. But hey, not all dragon Pokemon are dragons. We have an aquarium here. Really nice atmosphere. Saltwater one. They're all named. I'll just give you a little tour of the inside of the aquarium. Why not? Timmy's just staring at me like, um, did you just go inside the aquarium? Sir, you're going to drench yourself. You're a Charmander. You will drown. Please, please release yourself from the tank. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, down here, there's actually a PvP arena. It is a Japanese-themed dojo. And we have quite a bit of PvPs here. That is a yin yang symbol. And yin yang basically represents balance between light and dark. Very, very, I, I, I sincerely believe in the yin yang. We have some Japanese banners there. Bamboo, a nice waterfall. And we add some water around it. Which is really great if you're going to have a trident in here. And here's the Sensei, Grovile. From Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I always think of Grovile. And this is what he, where he is. He is the Sensei of this dojo, very wise. It isn't just about your strength in battle. It's more about your strength in character. Greeting, greeting Okaya-sama. This is a sacred temple, but not as sacred as your temple, meaning your body. There's nothing more terrifying than going to have a whole morning without coffee. Yeah, so he likes coffee. If you've seen some of my videos, he is a real coffee-holic. <laughs> it is important to stay awake and aware during meditation. Coffee helps. <laughs> he has some coffee metaphors in there. There is a number of coffee lover uh, NPCs in here. He is one of them. So there's the, there, there's the dojo. Spectators can watch from here. And a uh, spectator can ring the bell to start the battle or whatever. And of course, if you get defeated, you'll just respawn from the bed and get, go grab all your things. Store anything you don't need from there. Or if you have weapons in the ender chest, you have that there. Everything you need. And I'm really proud of this, and we use this for uh, basically, you know, P PVPs. And that is what's down here, and basically, these Pokemon, this is where they train. 
They need a good, sacred temple where they can strengthen their own character and their moves. All right. Well, you've had the whole tour of this guild, and I really hope you enjoyed that. And I do want to thank Snook. She kind of did the ceiling, but that's about all she did. As you can see, it's very lush. There are no torches in here. Maybe just the odd one, but only in the right places. Or maybe not. That's good. Okay, I don't really... Torches are kind of ugly in Minecraft anyway. Only occasionally are they acceptable, in my opinion. That is all for this video. I'm just gonna... There's Nova. I love you, Snowball. I'm gonna add Summer here. I now have Summer here, and I'm gonna have my two turtles as well, Freddy and Speedy, and Speedy the second. And here's Summer, just like that, and it looks a lot like him too. And there is a new guild member just recently, Glaceon. And I went exactly where there would be cake, and there she is. I got to add the turtles yet. But anyway, that's, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for viewing the Red Band Guild. Tommy's Guild, I guess that's what it is. And I will see you all next time.